Do you think there is an upper limit to human aging? Uh, well, I know there isn't. There you know there is not. Yeah. yeah, it's not even a question. Let me explain. Uh, th there are lots of reasons why I give that answer. To me, it's self-evident, but uh, for some people it isn't. And there are critics of this idea that we can live beyond 120. But one of the best examples is uh, that we've been able to extend the lifespan of every species that we've tried to extend the lifespan of, and we're no different from those species. That's point one. Um, the second is that there are many species who are very similar to us genetically, biologically, that live a lot longer than we do. Uh, the best example would be the bowhead whale, but a lot of whales live longer than us. And that, you know, they have children, they're conscious, they produce milk. Uh, so we just need to mimic what they have that allows them to live so long. And I think we have a much better idea now of how to do that. Um, and so, yeah, that there is no law that says we must age. Remember that. Uh, so we're already many decades ahead of where I thought we would be technologically um, from when I started. Um, I thought I was working to help my children and future children and, and, uh, and grandchildren, but it turns out that the pace of discovery has gone way faster, and that's partly due to um, technology. We can now do an experiment that analyzes billions of genes in the same time frame uh, in a day that used to take us years of, of work and billions of dollars, and that allows us to do very quick experiments. Um, the other thing that makes me super positive about this is that we've made a, a major breakthrough in our understanding of not just why we age, but also how to control that process. And uh, the, the turning point in my career uh, was the discovery that there's a backup copy of information in every cell, in every, every body's cells, um, and that that backup copy can be accessed. And there's a switch that you can flip that allows cells to reset their biological age and function again as though they were young because literally they are young again. And that fact that there is a backup copy changes everything. We're no lo I'm no longer talking about slowing aging. I'm talking about true age reversal multiple times. And I don't get laughed off stage anymore when I say that. Uh, so how many of you have heard of the epigenome or at least epigenetics? The concept is that what we've realized is that most of disease and disability is not driven by our genes, it's actually controlled by the regulator of those genes, which is the epigenome. One of the best examples of that um, are these people here. So these are um, individuals from two sets of twins. These are in Denmark, a very large study of Danish twins, looking at the effects of genes versus environment or epigenetics, which is what responds to the environment. Uh, and so if we click the button forward once, you'll see that the identical twin of these two individuals, uh, hopefully you can see, looks a lot younger and is actually younger biologically. We can now measure that. And it turns out that by living a healthy lifestyle, often you hear about uh, doctors recommending these things. We know a lot about how to slow down the aging process. You don't just look younger, you actually are biologically younger. And that's why if you exercise, you eat right, you eat less often, you take the right supplements, you will be biologically younger and you will actually stave off disease until much later. So what does that actually mean? If The concept is information. So the main type of information that we know about is the genome in the DNA. But there's also another level of information that's just as important and even more complex. That's the epigenome. Uh, and those are the structures that control how the DNA is bundled and shaped and which genes out of the 25,000 get turned on and off when we're forming an embryo. Um, and we develop. And those genes can be switched on and off depending on how we live. If we put our bodies in a state of ad perceived adversity or adversity that isn't too damaging, the epigenome will actually respond and be more stable. So the idea is you want to stabilize your epigenome so that your cells remember how to function youthfully for longer. The analogy, as shown in this slide, is a compact disc. Hopefully all of you remember what those things are. <laughs> if you're young, it's like resetting a computer or, or pressing the buttons on the side of your iPhone. Uh, so what the analogy is that the digital information is the, is the DNA, um, and that's the music, but you need to read it. It's not just pits on, a, on an, uh, um, a metallic disc. The epigenome is the equivalent of the reader of that information, and the songs are the, are the genes. And aging, I believe, and our new paper presents very strong evidence this is the case, that aging is, the, is akin to scratches on the CD, so that the cells still have the music, 
the genes, but they're just not read correctly at the right time in the right place so that your cells forget how to work. So we see that brain cells become more like skin cells and skin cells become more like kidney cells. We become a melange instead of highly differentiated, functioning, youthful cells. And so that's the information theory of aging. And what we found out in this paper is what drives that process in large part is broken DNA. Avoid x-rays, CT scans, if you can help it. Um, don't fly too much. <laughs> if you can help it. Yeah, well, don't do what I do. And, uh, and uh, live ways that actually prevent those breaks because that disrupts the epigenome we showed. But here's the, the cool point is that we've discovered you can polish off those scratches and get back the beautiful music of cells and their youth. The journey has been a rapid one. We made this discovery that you can uh, reset the age of cells, human tissue, mouse tissue, living mice. Uh, we've done extensive studies in mice. We needed to know if it was safe. It's, it's very safe. We've never seen anything negative after years of work and driving this process. We found that those three genes, these are uh, gene regulators that set off a cascade of events during embryogenesis to make a young human. Turns out, lucky for all of us, I think, is that those three genes also set back the clock in adult cells without causing tumors or any disease. And, and this is the thing that, that blows my mind is, you'd think that if you just keep it on for a long time, you'd go back to zero, age zero, which you don't want. It's not true. They go, cells go back about 80% and stop. There's a barrier that prevents them from going back to zero if we leave off that other gene. It's a gift to humanity. So the, think about this, your body looks old, but it's actually, it just needs to be reset. So I don't think of an old person now as an old person. I think it's just a body that needs to be reset. So it's my prediction that uh, we'll be um, in the next 18 months or two years testing our first age reversal uh, clinical trial in humans um, to cure blindness and those studies are actually being planned right now and the material to do that is being manufactured. We've actually done this now in mice, we haven't published this so you've heard it here first, that we can reverse the age of an old mouse's brain so they have dementia. We spend three weeks reversing the age of the brain, we just give them an intravenous injection of our therapy, turn it on for four weeks and those mice have a young brain and they have their ability to learn again. So I imagine a day where we will have an infusion either in our eye or in our whole body and we just take uh, a drug to turn those genes on. We use doxycycline, just your antibiotic. As a trigger for those it's genes. It's the trigger. We don't need an antibiotic. It's not used as an antibiotic. It's an on-off switch. But we can reset the body. And so um, after the eye, we're going to go after hearing and dementia. Yes. And there will be a day, I believe, where you will be able to rejuvenate your brain and get back memories, get your ability to learn again.